M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've been looking at this R-Finder hotspot and it does come in different names and packages and you can get these from AliExpress for around £120. So I'm not sure what it will be in the USA. But anyway, I'm looking at the sort of internal components. So you have a 2.3 inch or 2.4 inch screen. The thing about the board that's inside this particular hotspot is it is a duplex board, so it, has, it does have two antennas, uh, and it will do DMR, D-Star, Fusion, all the usual things, and it uses the Pi Star software. So when you when you look at the package from the outside, it looks like this. So it's a nice looking package. Inside you have these interesting batteries, which are actually very inexpensive. The downside to something like the Open Spot Four or Three is that the battery to get the battery delivered to you, the correct one. It's about 50 pounds. Now the batteries here are I think like six pound, there it is there. And the voltage is 3.6 volt, 6.7 amps. There's the battery there, look, seven pound, not in stock, but there. Well, I suppose you do have two, so you can double that up straight away. So I just find it fascinating. But even the board itself, I think the board is, is, uh, is, a, is, is a really, I think it's, for what it does, it's it's quite good value that you can buy them for about £35. And you think it's a VHF, UHF, duplex or simplex hotspot MMDVM board. It does need a Pi Zero beneath it. So if you look here at this big, larger picture, there's your Pi Zero. Now, I think it would run a lot faster with the Pi Zero version 2 when we can eventually get one. If you think about the price of Pi, Raspberry Pis at the moment, or you can't even get them, they're quite expensive. So you're basically getting this board, a Pi Zero, some batteries, you've got this interface here with USB connections. Now on one I've seen, the SD card is actually going in through one of these USB connectors, and then there's a switch in the other one. But on other photographs that I've seen, you can see the the actual USBs. So not really sure. I have ordered it. We're going to have a play with it. And the Pi Star system, as you know, is is very user friendly. Anyway, once you uh, get your um, your Wi-Fi details into the SD card, then it's, it's you know it's quite easy to talk to it. And one thing I could try, I suppose, is, is connecting a Wi-Fi adapter and using my Ethernet. But it looks to me like because it's all been everything soldered in there quite tightly, it's doable. But you probably have to take it apart to do it. So um, yeah, so, well, th thanks for watching the video. I'm finding this interesting, and that's why I'm I'm just posting details on it now. The antennas on it, if you look here, looks to me like it's two of these tiny sort of micro SMA type connectors that you get in mobile phones. Uh, but until I actually get it here, let's have a look at this photograph. It now, if you look here, you can see that tiny little connector there, and there's another one here. To me, that's the two meters and 70 centimeters antennas. So if you use one of these, it's a YAGEO S432. You can see all the different modes here. Look, P25, NXDM, YSF, DMR, and then, you know, power and all the usual things. So it seems to me like quite a sophisticated board and um, readily available. It's just the problem is the Pi Zeros and the Raspberry Pis. I think it would definitely work on a Pi 3, and I will try that out on a Pi 3B. So 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. Bye for now.